Good morning. My name is Tom. I come to you from northern Maine. Well, here we go again. Another boat project. The boat behind me is a 18 foot Starcraft. I'm guessing somewhere between 1950 and 1960. I'm not exactly sure. I will be trying to find out uh, as this project goes along. But I just saved this boat uh, from the scrap heap. I bought this boat out of a junkyard. And they were just getting ready to uh, haul it off for scrap metal. It was going to be sold as scrap aluminum. This boat is an awesome boat. I picked it up for $100. It's 18 feet long. It's 7 feet wide uh, midship. And it is about this deep. About up to my chest uh, as far as depth on the inside. So that makes this an incredible boat for what I want. And I got $100 in it. I bought this boat for a hundred dollars so I'm really looking forward to sharing it with you and uh, now I'll take you around back and look at it. The only thing that I have to do to this boat is I need to put a board on the transom just like the last boat. That is about the only thing that goes wrong with these aluminum boats is over time the board rots out and I've got some nice cherry wood at home that I'm going to use for a new transom to put my motor on it. I'm going to power it with a 15 Hoss Johnson. So come along, come see this boat for $100. And because I bought this boat in a junkyard, I'm thinking right now that the name of this boat is going to be the Junkyard Dog. That seems like a really good name for this boat, the Junkyard Dog. I've been thinking about it for a couple of days. Uh, I looked at this boat a week ago. I had no idea what I was going to look at, but I will tell you what, once I saw it, I couldn't get it in this driveway fast enough. <laughs> so. I'm a happy camper today!
Another one of these boats with a steering wheel. I will be taking it out and I will be putting on the new transom with a 15 os motor. So I'll be driving it from back here. Look at how wide that boat is. Here is the transom. You can see the wood is all gone, but that is nothing to replace. Another one of these boats with a steering wheel. I will be taking the steering wheel out. Here's what I'll be doing with the boat. The steering wheel is going to come out. I'm going to build a flat table from here all the way in to that seat you see there. Not really a table as much as just a cover in here and my fuel tank will go down there. I have a 12 gallon uh, fuel tank that will go in and then it will have a hatch that I can access the fuel tank. Fuel lines will run under the bottom of the boat. This seat right here I'm going to take out this middle seat, I'm going to take it out, I'm going to pull it forward and I'm going to anchor it to this seat so it will have two seats and I'm going to put a back here. There will be a back just like a couch and that way a couple of people could sit here, uh, maybe throw it, I got some cushions I can put in there uh, so it would make a nice comfy seat up here in the front of the boat. Uh, so that's the plan up here. And that will give me a, a huge uh, uh, flat area back here that's just for fishing. I'm also going to put in a hemlock floor so I'll have a flat bottom boat uh, inside. This is aluminum now so it takes the shape of the hull. I'll be running across with hemlock boards to give me a wooden floor. Uh, I like boats with a wooden floor. It keeps me up off the bottom of the boat and it gives me a flat surface to walk around on which if you've been in a boat you know how valuable a flat surface is. All of this stuff will come out. These are uh, I would have, I think fish pole holders that people have put in over the years. Like I said this this is an, a boat that's probably been in many many hands but it's come to roost here. This will be a great boat for the lake that I fish on because of the uh, just the, the size of the lake that I'm on as well as uh, how much wind is out there and big waves on certain days. So that's what I like about this boat. It is so deep. I, I, I really believe that this boat is really going to handle the water. So this will get turned into my uh, new lake trout fishing boat. Uh, by next spring I will be fishing out of this boat. And as always I will be painting the outside of this uh, hunter green. That is my color for boats. I won't be painting the gunnels. I will leave the gunnels as you see them. I will be painting the top deck. That will be hunter green as well. And I won't be painting the interior. The only thing I will be doing is back on that seat back there, the driver's seat. I will, I will cover that with wood and I will put a table on this side that you've seen in my other boats. I like to have a big table for putting my fishing tackle, uh, my, my depth sounder and all of that stuff. It just makes it a little bit easier to work and keep track of my gear while I'm out in the boat. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, this is going to make an awesome boat. Now a little, little story behind this boat. I don't know much history about it, but this I know. A friend of mine purchased this boat and he purchased it about two months ago in that junkyard. He's the one that spotted it and he was going to buy it for himself and he did buy it. He actually bought it first but then in the two month span uh, just the way the economy is and all kinds of other things uh, he decided that he was going to move back to Alaska. And he's been a friend of mine for 30 some odd years, probably closer to 40. So when he said he was going back to Alaska, he asked if I'd like to buy this boat. And I needed another boat like the hole, like a hole in the head. So I really didn't get down there to look at it any too quick. 
And I think, boy, he's getting ready to leave. I guess I ought to at least go look at the boat. And I'm really glad that I did. Because once I saw it, I fell in love with this boat because of its depth, its style, its age, uh, its width. Uh, so, and he sold it to me for the same price that he had in it. So we met there this morning. I have a uh, easy loader trailer. This boat was sitting right on the ground. And you saw in the video, we cranked it right on, didn't even break a sweat. And the man that was doing the cranking was the man that's moving to Alaska. So, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if maybe in the next week, in next year or so, that I find myself in Alaska on a fishing trip. We'll see. <laughs> but anyways, if you're watching this, buddy, I'm going to miss you. I know, you, I know you're watching it. You watch every one of my videos. So when you're parked in Alaska, because you won't see this before you leave, just know that I'm going to miss you. It's not going to be the same around here without you. I am looking forward to seeing huge lake trout in the bottom of this boat. And the other reason I like this boat is because I'm getting ready to trap eels. I'm going to be running anywhere from probably close to a hundred pots for eel fishing. So this boat is going to be ideal for eel fishing uh, all over the state. There's several places that I'll be fishing and uh, this boat is going to be ideal for that. It's big enough for gear. It's big enough for my, my uh, live well to keep the eels alive until I get home. Uh, it's just going to make an awesome boat for the eel trapping endeavor that I am taking on this fall and starting full heartedly next spring. I got all winter to get prepared. I'll be positioned in this boat where I can keep it dug out so I can work on it through the winter so that it is ready for next spring as soon as the ice goes out. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, and you like following an old woodsman from the state of Maine, and seeing the adventures, and just the lifestyle that I have here at the Rustic Log Cabin, subscribe to the channel. Drop me a comment. I answer all my comments. I look forward to hearing from you, and I look forward to meeting you.